Hello my future RN friends and my ATIT6 friends. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. So for those of you who do not know me yet, my name is Beth and I have been making videos about ATITs to help out students who are going to take their ATITs exam in preparation for the RN program. Okay, so in this particular worksheet, I have 15 definitions, terms, and questions that we were going to go over. And as you can see, I have some word bank here. And I also added five practice test questions that you can answer with me. Okay, so and if you are not subscribed to my channel yet, please go ahead and click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so that you will be updated on my future uh, uh, future videos. Sorry. Okay, so now let's go ahead and get started with this uh, review. Okay, guys, so we're going to go over 15 questions on this worksheet. And if you have a piece of paper and a pencil or a pen, that would be very perfect because that way you can, you know, write down your answers as I go over these questions. Okay, the first question, the blank focuses on emergency situations by preparing the body for fight or flight. What do you think is the best answer to number one question? Okay, so the answer to number one is sympathetic nervous system. The sympathetic nervous system focuses on emergency situations by preparing the body for fight or flight. So number one answer is sympathetic nervous system. Okay, for number two, as a person ages, the rate of blank or the ability for the brain to form Neural connections through synapses decreases. Okay, so for number two, the answer would be neural plasticity. As a person ages, the rate of pl neural plasticity or the ability for the brain to form neural connections through synapses decreases. Okay, number three, at the resting state, the inside of the neuron is more negatively charged while the outside of the neuron is more positively charged. This difference in electrical charge because of potassium and sodium ions establishes the resting potential. So the answer for number three is resting potential. Okay, number four, a neuron structure is designed to transmit electric signals before they are transmitted as chemical signals to a blank. Okay, what do you think is the answer for number four? Okay, look around the word bank and you can take a guess. Okay, for number four, a neuron's structure is designed to transmit electric signals before they are transmitted as chemical signals to a target cell. Okay, so number five, astrocytes, blank, microglial cell, and blank cells are the four major types of neuroglial cells in the CNS. So there will be two answers for number five. Okay, then let's go ahead and answer this. Astrocytes, oligodendrocytes, microglial cell, and ependymal cells are the four major types of neuroglial cells in the CNS. Okay, so number five, you have two answers. One is oligodendrocytes, and the next blank is ependymal. Okay, so number six, the myelin sheath is a protein and lipid structure produced by a type of glial cell called a blank. Blank. Okay, number six is, the answer would be swan cell. Okay, again, I'll repeat, the myelin sheath is a protein and lipid structure produced by a type of glial cell called a Schwann cell. Okay, do you see Schwann cell in there? Yes, it is right here. Okay, now let's go ahead to number seven. Okay, for number seven, blank reduces the speed at which neural impulses are transmitted along the axon. So what do you think is the answer for number seven? Reduces the speed at which neural impulses are transmitted along the axon. Okay, so number seven, the answer is demyelination. Demyelination is 
sorry, demyelination reduces the speed at which neural impulses are transmitted along the axon. Okay, you can go ahead and write the sentences as I read this with you, or you can pause the video so that you can, you know, write everything down. And you can have your own notes, right? Okay, so number eight. Number eight. I already mentioned number seven as demyelination. Okay, for number eight, blank are efferent nerve cells that carry impulses away from the CNS to the effectors, which are typically tissues and muscles of the body. Okay, for number eight, number eight, the answer is motor neurons. Okay, motor neurons are effer efferent nerve cells that carry impulses away from the CNS to the effectors, which are typically tissues and muscles of the body. Okay, number eight answer is motor neurons. Okay, number nine, the hypothalamus works with the blank from the endocrine system. The gland uses hormones or chemical messengers to generate responses in the body. Okay, what do you think? What gland produces hormones? Okay, so number nine, the answer would be pituitary gland. The hypothalamus works with the pituitary gland from the endocrine system. So pituitary gland belongs to the endocrine system. This gland uses hormones or chemical messengers to generate responses in the body. Okay, number 10. The sense of smell is the only sense that bypasses the blank. Number 10. The sense of smell is the only sense that bypasses the thalamus. The answer is thalamus right here. Okay. The number 11. The hypothalamus plays a role in regulating the blank. It is primarily concerned with blank and regulates various activities such as hunger, anger, and the response to pain. So there will be two answers for number 11. Okay. The answers would be autonomic nervous system and... Hold on. Homeostasis. Okay, so number 11, the answer would be autonomic nervous system and homeostasis. Okay, for number 12, we have clover Bussy syndrome is a condition that includes destruction of the blank. So clover Bussy is, I mean, this is the first time I've encountered this uh, kind of syndrome. <laughs> Maybe I just miss it in, in my science class. But anyway, clover Bussy syndrome is a condition that includes destruction of the amygdala. The answer would be amygdala. Amygdala. Okay. Number 14, uh, number 13, rather. Okay. Number 13, the blank controls higher order functions such as interpreting touch, speech, and language, reasoning, emotions, and fine motor control. So what do you think is number 13? Okay, number 13 is cerebrum. The cerebrum controls higher order functions such as interpreting touch, speech and language, reasoning, emotions, and fine motor control. Okay, number 13 is cerebrum. Okay, so the next time when I make another video, I will be doing the multiple choice type of this worksheet. Okay, so number 14, unconscious functions like breathing, heart rate, and blood pressure are controlled by the blank. Okay, number 14, unconscious functions such, such as breathing, heart rate, and blood pressure are controlled by the blank. What do you think is the answer? Who controls the unconscious? What controls the breathing and heart rate and blood pressure? Okay, number 14 is the brain stem. The brain stem controls breathing, heart rate, and blood pressure. Okay? Then number 15, ventricles are filled with blank fluid which surrounds the CNS. This fluid serves many purposes such as protecting the brain from physical shocks and removing wastes from the neural tissue in the brain. Okay, what do you think is number 15? Okay, 
Number 15 answer is cerebrospinal. Ventricles are filled with cerebrospinal fluid which surrounds the CNS. Uh, the word cerebro is spinal comes from cerebro which is brain and spinal means the spine. Okay. So number 15 ventricles are filled with cerebrospinal fluid which surrounds the CNS. This fluid serves many purposes such as protecting the brain from physical shocks and removing waste from the neural tissue in the brain. So we are finished with our worksheet and I have more questions to follow. These are going to be five practice questions. Okay, so these are the answers to the 15 questions and statements for the worksheet. Okay, you can go ahead and pause this video and, you know, write this down if you need to. Okay, I just put it in here so that, you know, you can review it. Then let's go to the next slide. So here are the five bonus practice questions. Okay, powered by Smart... Okay, Smart Academy, Smart Edition Academy .com. Okay, I'm stuttering. <laughs> okay, the first one: What part of the nervous system controls blood vessel contraction? Is it A. Autonomic, B. Central, C. Somatic, or D. Sympathetic? What part of the nervous system controls blood vessel contraction? A. Autonomic, B. Central. C. Somatic or D. Sympathetic? Okay, the answer is autonomic. It's letter A. It controls blood vessel contraction. Okay, number two. Which ion helps establish an action potential along an axon? Is it A. Barium, C. Cal B. Calcium, C. Magnesium, or D. Potassium? Okay, the answer is letter D. Potassium. Potassium helps establish an action potential along action potential along an axon. Axon. Okay. Next, number three. What structure rece receives information from another neuron? Is it A. Axon, B. Dendrite, C. Myelin, or D. Soma? Okay. What structure receives information from another neuron? The answer to this is dendrite, letter B. Okay. Okay, so number four, how many types of neuroglia are found in the CNS? Is it A, four, B, two, C, eight, or D, 11? So if you can remember the previous worksheet, we, there was the answer or questions similar to this. Okay, the answer is letter A, four, namely the astrocytes, the ependymal cells, the microglial cell, and oligodendrocytes. Those are the four types of neuroglia that can be found in the CNS. So the answer here is A, which is four. Okay, then the last one, number five, what lobe helps a person interpret information received from the retinas of the eyes, retinas of the eyes? Is it A, frontal, B, parietal, C, temporal, or D, occipital? Okay, so what lobe helps a person interpret information received from the retinas of the eyes? Okay, so uh, vision has something to do with letter D, occipital. So our occipital lobe has something to do with um, vision. The answer here is letter D. Okay, I think that's it. And when we check our answer, we have here um, for the five practice questions. Autonomic, potassium, dendrite, four, and occipital. Okay, so that's it for today. And thank you so much for watching this video. And I do recommend to check out smarteditionacademy.com for more in study review questions, flashcards, and more for ATITs. Okay, so this is me. Subscribe to my channel, please. And good luck with your ATITs exam. Bye, my friends.